So this is part two of our uh, basic audio editing in GarageBand screencast, and we're just picking up where we left off last time. Uh, we have imported two clips into GarageBand. One clip, this bottom one, is a ambient sound from a benefit concert, and this top clip up here is an um, interview from the person who helped put the concert together. Now one of the things that I neglected to mention in the last in the last screencast was that when you import audio, one of the first things you want to do is um, double click on it to bring up the track editor. And then uh, in this left hand part where it says name, you want to name your clip. In this case, the top clip is the interview. And the bottom clip is the ambient. And you just want to do this um, so you know which clip is which. It's just being being thorough and organized. Now, I want to edit the interview, but right now if I play if I play my my track, it will play both of them at the same time. It's, you know, difficult to hear what's going on. It'll sound like this. What we want to do is if you remember in the last screencast, the headphone button will isolate a track, will solo the track. And what that does is it grays out the ambient. So now if I play it, um, I only hear three weeks ago, I got called by a couple of bands the track that I've soloed. Okay. Now, if you read the text walkthrough or the text tutorial that I wrote about GarageBand audio editing, I mentioned that editing in GarageBand is a subtractive process. And uh, this is what I mean by that. Um, about three weeks ago, I got called... When you want to isolate a clip, instead of, uh, in Final Cut, you would uh, perhaps set a mark in front of the clip and a mark in back of the clip and then make it its own subclip. But in GarageBand you don't have you know subclip upon subclip you just have this one track that I'm working with and the clips I want to get out of it. And so I delete everything that I don't want. So down in the track editor there are two possible cursors. There's this crosshair that I that that it is right now, and then if I move up to the top of the track editor, there is this um, vertical line with two arrows going either way. Uh, this symbol allows you to drag your track back and forth, and this crosshair will let you select something, and when you select something, it lets you delete it. So the basic way to edit audio is to take your playhead to, um, before you before your clip and press spacebar to play it and then press spacebar to stop it right before your clip starts. Uh, going on tonight. Um, about three weeks ago I got... About three weeks ago I... So that looks about right. We're gonna just take this and highlight to the left of it and delete. And then we will play this clip through until a point that we think it ends. About three weeks ago I got called by a couple of bands and they were wanting to do a concert and I was uh, going to turn away. We didn't really have time or energy to, to put on a concert, but uh, God really put it on my heart to do something for Haiti. I, I'm pretty sure the quote goes on, but in this instance, for uh, this example, we're just going to pretend that the quote stops there, and you do the same thing on this side. You just select a little bit to the right of it, and you delete. And now, as you can see, both in the uh, track editor and up here, I've isolated this clip from the rest of it. And I don't delete a lot to the right because there's, you know, potentially more clips further down further down the line. So, so you don't want to, like, select all of this and delete it or anything like that. You just want to select a little bit so that you're separating it from the rest of the clip. I am able to uh, delete this first part because this is just me asking a question. Okay. So that is how you isolate a clip. You would just repeat this process for every other quote and little bit of information that you want to include in your you know, finished product.